Prime Minister Boris Johnson came into this TV debate with a double-digit lead in the latest opinion polls, but the possible disadvantage of being the incumbent in this race. The Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn came to Salford with the pressure of knowing that with less than three and a half weeks until polling day, he needs a breakthrough soon. Lots were drawn. Corbyn spoke first on public services. Too many families are without a proper home, struggling to make ends meet while tax cuts are handed to the super-rich. Johnson led on Brexit. And whether you voted for leave or remain, people want to get Brexit done and to unleash the potential of this entire country. The questions ranged widely, from Brexit to government austerity to personal integrity. How can we trust you? At times, the moderator struggled to keep the debate on topic and on time. I I know you want to return to Brexit, Brexit Mr Johnson, but in this specific moment, we are talking about the NHS. On Brexit, a Labour government would renegotiate a new deal with the EU and then put it to a second UK referendum. Johnson repeatedly demanded to know whether Corbyn will campaign for or against his own Brexit deal in that referendum. But we don't know, and I've asked this before, we don't know on which side Mr Corbyn would campaign. Is he going to campaign for leave can, or remain? And from the other direction, Corbyn pressed the Prime Minister on the future of the National Health Service and emphasised the point with a personal anecdote about a friend who'd recently died of cancer. The nurses that were trying to help her were unable to get anyone to see her because they were under such strain and stress, and so she recorded a video saying, please, in my memory, make sure nobody else goes through this pain. Other opposition party leaders were excluded from the main debate and allocated a separate TV interview programme. The Liberal Democrats, the Scottish National Party, the Greens and the Brexit Party. I would revoke Article 50. That's something the Prime Minister has the power to do and we would do that on day one. Westminster governments can decide to impose a direction of travel and upon us and policies that we don't want uh, upon us. And therefore, that really illustrates the importance of Scotland deciding for ourselves what kind of country we want to be. We really do need to transform our whole country in the next 10 years. We know how to do it. We just need to make sure we've got the will and the investment to make it happen. The plan is to get some Brexit voices into the House of Commons to hold Boris Johnson to his promises. Political commentators will wrangle over which leader came out on top from this debate, but there are several more televised encounters still to come in this election campaign. Plenty of time for voters to make up their mind before December 12th. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, London.